Sprouts Mexicane? Sprouts Mexicane. What's that? Well, it's uh, sprouts, pinch of chilli powder, jar of curry powder, hint of Tabasco sauce. Well, three bottles, actually. <laughs> Not so much a hint, more of a party political broadcast. And the secret ingredient, gunpowder. <laughs> sprouts? <laughs> they were left over from last Christmas. Da, 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 da. <laughs> It's October! Yes, yes, I know. They were a bit frisky. <laughs> but the spices will cover any embarrassment. <laughs> hey, you must be ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. There they are. <laughs> Fancy a taste, Eddie? This. I'm Dick Coughlin, Brother Neuro, and uh, today, for the first time in a long time, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be paying homage to, uh, to well, three th different things, really. One, the greatest TV show in the history of the world, Bottom, and the other one to two people who I would say are on the spectrum of internet cooking, which is Binging with Babish and Kay's Cooking. Obviously, you decide who's the worst and the best out of that one. And so today, what I'm going to be doing, as you saw from the clip at the start, I'm going to be attempting to uh, recreate the classic dish, Sprouts Mexicane, from the Halloween special episode of Bottom called Terror. Uh, I've tried to keep it as true to the original recipe as possible. Uh, there's a few changes that I've had to make, but I'm sure you will understand. So, the first thing we need are sprouts. Now, in the show, the sprouts Richie are using are left over from the previous Christmas. This is a Halloween episode, so it's obviously in October, which means the sprouts uh, are nine months old. Now, these are not uh, nine months old, but I will just show you to the camera. Um, these have been in the uh, fridge for the last four months, and as you can see, they are not exactly looking good. In the, in the show, Richie, uh, he, he just chucks them in to the oven, he doesn't appear to have boiled them first, and... Oh, fuck you hell! <laughs> Holy shit! Right, that is... Wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a tip, folks. Don't keep sprouts for more than a few, a few months, because this is... Fuck my ass. Right, uh, here we are. Now, the first thing he says is... Hint of this might be the first time in a long time where the extreme spices of the dish might be an advantage. So, just a pinch of chilli powder. It's a bit more of a pinch, but I'm using that, doing that on purpose. Now, jar, uh, a jar of curry, curry powder. This is hot curry powder from Morrison's. Shout out to them. Not sponsor. No hashtag ad here. Jar of curry powder. And uh, Richie says, a hint of Tabasco sauce, or a party political broadcast, which is three bottles. Now, uh, I don't have, I'm not going to pay for three bottles, this shit's expensive. But, again, I think you'll find, I've made up for it, this might take a while. The secret ingredient in Sprouts Mexicane is gunpowder. Now, obviously, I live in the UK and I'm not clinically insane, so I don't have access to any gunpowder. However, I found a compromise, which is these things uh, called fun snaps. Now, you probably have, uh, you probably have similar uh, things like this uh, where you come from. They're these little tiny bits of, but they look like bombs of speed, and you throw them and they go like that. So I'm just going to put a load of them all over there and hopefully that will that will all go off while it's in the oven I couldn't use gunpowder the missus wouldn't let me now and now well, now uh, on the show it appears that uh, Richie puts tinfoil over it then puts them in the oven I don't know how long for 
But now I'm going to do that and then we're going to see how they turn out. Okay folks, they've been in the oven now for about two hours, so I think they're going to be ready. And let's turn the oven off and here they come. And uh, value, but oh yes, look at that. Absolute, they look remarkable. Um, that's definitely my favorite one right there. That's uh, looking good. Now, none of the snappers went off. Not to worry though, because uh, I realize that's a bit disappointing. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think there's one more ingredient I need to add before we try one of these bad boys. Oh, ooh, blimey! It's not a hoodie, it's a cow. Now, but there's another dish in the Halloween episode where Eddie makes some exploding carrots. Well, I've got the next best thing, some exploding sprouts. Right, exploding sprouts here. This is gonna go off without a hitch. And here we have it folks, the final dish, sprouts, Mexicane. There's now a wonderful aroma, not just of rotting sprouts, and not just of burnt curry powder, but now we can add molten plastic into the uh, list of ingredients. Now I, um, having just done my last will and testament, are going to try and eat some of this. Um, let's see, uh, that one's furry. Let's try, let, let, let's try this one. Okay. Take the charred bit off the pot. <laughs> ah, now, it's time to show my dedication by eating the sprouts of evil! What's up people and I'm back cooking again. Now, I'm going to be doing now the good version of Sprouts Mexicane. You might notice I've got a different t-shirt on from the last time and that's because, not joking, the last Sprouts Mexicane I made, I did eat it a bit and I, I had the squits for two days. So this time we're going to be trying to make the good version of Sprouts Mexicane using all these ingredients here. Okay, first thing is you get your pan on, put it on a medium heat and then you put your mustard seeds, we've got half a teaspoon of mustard seeds in there, and apparently these things, much like the snappers and the uh, that we had earlier, should start to pop. So, um, yeah, they're going, they're going, right, they're on, right, now, next, chuck in three or four curry leaves, and whatever the fuck these things are. Now, <laughs> cumin seeds, that's the one. Then you just chuck it, what we've got here is turmeric, Cumin, chili powder, whatever the fuck that is, salt and garlic paste. And we chuck all of that. There we is. Oh yes, here we go. Should have a pan, should have a an oofa doofa. Here we go. Right. What was the next bit of the recipe? <laughs> And after half an hour, you should have something resembling this. And uh, we're now going to put this into that bowl, and then it's time for the taste test. Right, well, that's Sprouts Mexicane, and now in comes Aiden for the taste. Mmm. Actually, mm. how good that is. Mm. It tastes like Sprouts. Uh -huh. And Mexican. That'll be the sprouts, yeah. Thumbs up. Mm. Thumbs up. Uh, well, well, Aiden gave it a thumbs up, which means it must be good. Uh, if uh, there's going to be a link in the description to my Patreon. If uh, if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. Uh, if you want to leave a comment or a recipe, uh, then uh, please feel free to more the merrier. 
And if you're thinking about subscribing, or you know someone who's thinking about subscribing, or someone who refuses to subscribe, get yourself subscribing. Get everyone subscribing. Thank you. <laughs> ah!